how do you think artwork plays into your branding specifically? And Mark, I would love your input too, if you feel like it's important and mm -hmm. something that you look at really hard, but you know, with your stuff, so it gets very, it's just very artsy. It's very, it's colorful. Um, it's, I mean, look at the artwork on your wall. Like it's stuff like that. Just stuff like that jumps out to me. And I just want you to kind of explain how, how it, I think it's helped your brand because I think it has um, because that's how I remembered you. And I feel like you can tell somebody what you're about and who you are without even ever pressing play, right? From your name, from your beat names, from your artwork, all these different things. So I guess like just talk to us mm, about that. Was there, yeah. Was there a thought process into this, man? Or was it just like, yo, I'm gonna, I love art. I like making cool artwork and this is what I'm going to do. Or was there no, a definitely a thought process. I mean, everything that you just said kind of proved it. And I was, I was kind of happy that you said all that because it was like, mm -hmm. You know, uh, from the artwork to you know jumping off the off the screen, just like the, the ton of colors. Like, of course, that's all that's all on purpose. Um, it is it is also just my preference, my taste. I, I you know I do like um, vibrant pieces and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, for in particular, my um, my avatar on Instagram, I'm I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with, but it's. Uh, pretty much the same color scheme as this painting back here. Yep. And um, I saw that about two years ago on my feed. It was an artist I follow from somewhere overseas, but he hmm. uh, he was selling it. And I think I bought it for like something like 60 bucks. And I was like, this is what, you know, this is going to be associated with my brand because I don't know, like you, if you're on Instagram and you're scrolling through stories, that is going to be right in your face. You are not yep. going to miss a story mm. from Stoic Beats. Cause this thing is so bright and so weird. It's like an alien looking thing. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, same just, thing with it's, YouTube. It's a, it's a stoic. I always thought that. I thought that. I, stoic, I, I yeah. thought that, I'm like, that must be what a stoic is. It's like yeah. a character from some like a uh, yeah. children's book or something. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, nah. This just, they, yeah. The picture and the name don't relate, but I guess now they do. But yeah, it. yeah, definitely intentional. Um, I think it's hmm. really important to have artwork, uh, thumbnails that uh, grab people's attention and uh, like you said names um like like beat titles uh just anything you could do to get the edge over someone else that you feel might be a little less you know they're, they're not trying to uh, uh innovate as much because that's really what it is about you know innovation so dude that's yeah. all it is it's um you know creation and using your brain and your mind and having ideas is free like you can mm -hmm. do all so i think a lot of people skip all that and just go right to the beats and uploads and right. artwork secondary mm. to them. I'm not saying that can make or break you because I know a lot of people don't give a shit about their artwork, but they do great. But I just know a lot of other people that even with their titles, like I only use one syllable words, stuff that's very quick and easy to remember. And then you associate it with, uh, you know, their branding or coloring or something. So mm. I just think it's extra levels of stuff that you can do um, to, to make, to make it stick out.